This is a public communication services collect call from an inmate at the Calumet County Jail. The use of three-way or a call waiting will disconnect the call. This call will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, dial 5 now. Hello? Yeah? Did you get a hold of the deal at all, or? Not by the time I got done today. Oh. So. Ask Kevin to call you quick and ask you if you do that. So I'll see if Steve's back and see if he'll come up and talk to me. Or Wendy, if, she, if he's not back. I don't know. I'll talk to him. Tomorrow. <laughs> um, you and Ma got my CDs from Ben, right? Yeah, they're packed away. Uh, good, because Kevin told me that his car got broken into. They were back before that. That's good. That's why I wanted that shit out of his car. See, I told Mom. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. They'll be fine. Yeah. Well, it's not his fault. No, but I told him to leave him at that house, at the house Sunday, before I got locked up because I wanted my CDs back, and he never left them there. Because he didn't even ask to take them. He just took them. Well, they're downstairs. That's good. I put them in a box. Because <laughs> I was talking to Kevin, I'm like, well, because he said, and I asked if he started bringing my stuff over to this place, and he's like, no, because you guys had to go through it and find something. I'm like, yeah, Mom, because Ben wanted his remote to the stereo, and it's somewhere in one of the boxes. And then Kevin's like, well, he's not going to use his remote anymore. I'm like, why not? And he's like, somebody smashed his window out and took his shit. Yep. If they got him, I think. But the thing is, Ben's going to get his stereo back. No, but they got the little bastards that were doing it because they were trying to get crystals out. And when Crystal's brother was coming home, he caught them. He didn't catch them, but he got their license plates on the car. Yeah, Ben should have enough sense to take his face plate off the stereo, and then it's no good without that. It was off. Once it's disconnected, if they don't have his code, they can't get it ever to work. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. So what good did it do them? Yeah. So he tore his car up for nothing. That's right. I forgot that's got that security code on it. Yeah. Once that battery gets disconnected from the... Unless you know that code to recode it, it yeah. don't do no good. They're fucked. <laughs> Uh, no, he's fucked, because all it does is wind up in a dumpster. No, they might take it and pawn it off, as long as it turns on. Yeah. And that way they'll get caught that way, too, because uh, the pawn shops around that area go through the police departments. Unless they find a sucker to buy it. Yeah. On the street. And then he'll figure out he can't get it to work, and then either toss it or take it to the pawn shop, or find another sucker. <laughs> Yep. But uh, the cops, see, that's what happened with Billy stuff, but the cops told the guys, you know, y y you'll get less of a sentence if you tell us where the shit is. And Billy got his aunt back that way. Uh, yep. Who knows, you know, because if they do got it, they're going to hold on to it until they're done with the thing, and then they'll eventually give it back if they got it from them. Now, if they found out where they live, all they got to do is get a search warrant for their house and go in there and search the house for the shit. <coughs> Yeah, if they go that far, that's just the problem nowadays. That's why all these son of a bitches, Mexican wet back son of a bitches, come in this country and steal all this shit. They don't do uh, go any farther with it. Well, I know. It's like that Mexican I was on that other unit with before they moved me in with Avery. Uh, some bitch started talking shit and thought, oh, you know, he's gonna fucking walk all over me. He was trying to. He telling me, well, "Why don't you come over by the cellar and fight?" No, I was on the other side of the table. I'm like, why don't you come over here? If you're going to do something, motherfucker, come over here and swing on me and find out what the fuck's going to happen. Because yeah. he's like, oh, you got their shit as long as they got a bunch of them together, just like niggers. He was the only one on the unit, but he was fat and shit, so he thought he was tough. And uh, I'm leaning up against the wall. I even kept my back to him. 
you know, and he kept saying shit, and I'm like, dude, whatever. I'm like, if you're going to fucking swing and swing and go other than that, you're going to fucking shut your mouth and go back in your cell because you ain't going to do shit. I'm like, I'm right fucking here if you want to fucking swing on me. Yep. And he wouldn't do nothing. He wanted me to hit him, and I ain't that fucking stupid. I'm getting revoked for nine months. You think I'm going to fuck it off and get charged with something for beating his ass? Screw that. I only got nine months to do. I ain't going to end up with a fucking year to two years again. No, I don't have more. Uh-huh. Yeah, you will. How do you think I'm going to have more? You got up to ten years of parole, Gordy. Uh, no, I'm on a seven-year prison sentence right now. That's right. And after that, sir, you got ten years of parole. Yeah. And they can send your ass back anytime they get ready to. Yeah, as long as I break the rules. Yep. And you'll break them. You ain't learned nothing yet. <laughs> I told you. What did I tell you, son? Didn't I tell you within a year you'd be back in there? I made it past a year. A year and three months. And you still. I wasn't far off, was I? Huh? You know, the way I look at it, it's better to do it now than when that ten years is around. Yeah, well, they can send you back for that ten years. You fuck up again. Yeah, well, that ain't going to happen again. So I ain't going to be that stupid to stay messing around with somebody like that. As long as you continue your fucking drinking and all your bullshit and you're trying to control somebody, Harvey, it's going to happen. People are free. You don't have the right to control nobody or tell them what they can or can't do. They want to be with you, they'll be with you. If they don't, they're going to leave your ass. I wasn't trying to tell her she had to stay with me. I told her she wanted to break up, then we'd break up. And she's like, I don't know what I want. <laughs> uh, and that's when you should have said, well, I'll help you. We're done. Right? Yeah. Something like that don't want to be helped. That's just like that dumb bitch called here last night. I gave her one of them title application forms for that Firebird. Yeah. Well, this ain't a title application. I told her, I said, yes, it is. Just spell it out, bring it over here, back to me, and I'll take care of it. I ain't seen her yet. Oh, I know. She's stupid. All she's doing is out looking for trouble. She thinks she's being smart. And Steve's going to find out. Her, her parole uh, probation officer ain't Steve. It's uh, Pat. That's all right. I know Pat. And I'll tell Pat. She thinks she's pulling fast one. She's going down in Fond du Lac drinking, in Fond du Lac County. And then she's staying down in Southern Town at Pudges. Yep. In the trailer park. I ain't stupid. I know what she's doing. Or else she's taking and uh, going to Jason's. Yeah, because Bobby has her drive, so when Bobby gets drunk, she makes Casey drive so she don't get her drunk driving. Yep. And that's how stupid she is. I'd tell her, fuck you, that's your van, not mine. Well, that's what I tried telling her for a long time. I'm like, those guys ain't your fucking friends. I'm like, what do they do for you? Nothing, except for try getting you in trouble. I'm like, I'm here helping you all the time, fucking giving you money, helping you all with shit. Yeah, well. And you shit on me. That's just what we did with you, too, and what happened to us. Well. Yeah. You're right back where you started from. Five years ago. Right? Yeah. So, five years of your life for what? For being stupid. Now, I told you guys, stupidity would get you nowhere, didn't I? No. And it's got you where? Nowhere. Oh, well, I got you on here. I'm throwing that goddamn big-ass TV out. Why? No good. It works. No, it don't. It did work for me, no problem. We soldered that piece down. It comes on. The line's all through the tube. Then it just cuts to one line across the tube. Yeah, that's what it did before. You gotta pull that piece back with the zip strips then. What? You gotta pull the piece that piece back over with the zip strip ties like it No, was. we soldered it. Well, it's in that piece that soldered in because that's what's wrong with it. Well, where are you gonna put this on this? Call from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. I don't know. Because we're cleaning that basement out. I guess it's possible then, so, because I don't, I called around and I still couldn't find no place to fix it because nobody deals with Fisher anymore, so. 
Well, why you want to hang on to it for then? Because it did work the way it was. Yeah, so somebody could come up and the kids stick their hand in there with the back of it off and get electrocuted? Well, see, I was going to mess with them all and see what I could figure out with it. But, I don't know, I guess just toss it then. I'll just have to save up the money for another TV. Well, just what... That one was just like you. Wouldn't listen. I tried to tell him what to do, but no, he he know better. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dumb fucking Brian. I tried to tell him how we'd do it so it'd work. No, he, he's got it. He, I got it all set up. It's already a solder. Oh. So, anyway... I guess if you can try getting hold of the POs and see whoever's in, if Steve's back, I don't know if he is or not, but see if they come up here and talk to me. I hauled that fucking old firebird out of here, too. It's gone. He junked that son of a bitch. Well, I got left that camper. I don't know if I'm going to get that out of there this week or not, but that's going north, and that fucking boat's going out of there, and so is that Mitsubishi. Uh, what, is she calling you from her parents or what? I don't know where she called from last night. Probably Bobby's phone. I couldn't tell you. Well, I, all I know is I want the least amount of dealings with her as I can have. I don't know if she's got Joplin this week or not. I forgot. I got the weeks mixed up which week she had Joplin. Oh, it was last week or this week. But is this, if it's this week... You have one minute remaining. If it's this week, then she called from Bobby's phone. I don't know. But... I don't know. I'll get off here. You can try getting a hold of them and see if they'll get up here and talk to me. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.